Hey, what's good, family? There's been a lot of hype on Tesla lately. And in this video, I just wanted to kind of come in here and show you the possibility, show you some of what I see uh, when it comes to Tesla. I hear a lot of people talking about the RSI. The, the RSI, personally for me, isn't an indicator that I really use that often, but I just wanted to show you. I hear a lot of people talking about Tesla being oversold on the RSI and trying to use that to get puts. But I wanted to take this time to show you kind of just the history of how Tesla moves whenever it has momentum, as well as show you kind of what I see right now and why you're better either waiting for a pullback, in my opinion, once I'm not a financial advisor, this isn't financial advice, but in my opinion, I think it is better to wait for a pullback than to try to short it at these levels. If you're trying to make money from it, I think it's better to wait for a pullback and buy it to the upside than to try to short it. Just because of, if you look at the history, every time Tesla runs, this right here is the weekly chart. So right here, Tesla starts moving, starts moving. So right here, if we look at it from the bottom to right here, Tesla, moved up $24. Another week, that's a $35 move. And then we get this massive week right here from top to bottom, just over the span of, that's a month right there, four weeks, Tesla moved up almost $80, but it wasn't done there. We got three more weeks of strength from Tesla. And over the span of two months, Tesla moved up 115%, $117, when it's down at $101. All right, so we got a similar start to the move over here. And yeah, the move started down here at 167. Tesla is up $24. All right, didn't do too much the next week. We're on week three, it's up $36. All right, we're currently in the fourth week right now. And looking at this candle, it's looking very much like a bullish engulfing candle. We do have some more days to the week. But right here, we're only up $63. I know for a lot of you, this feels like a massive run on Tesla. And don't get me wrong, it's, it's a massive run. Like when you're looking at it on a day, Tesla is up 10% on a day. But that's kind of how Tesla moves. Like this move right here isn't the only move that Tesla had. Looking at another move right here on the bottom. One week, Tesla moves up 14 Three weeks, $30. $50, $100 over a span of five weeks. And over a span of about six weeks, it moves up 80%, a total of $123. And then over here, yo, don't get me started about over here. Tesla goes up, runs up $155 over here. So what I want to show you is this is the RSI and this is on the weekly chart. I see a lot of people talking about the RSI. And if you move to the higher time frames. Yeah, Tesla's oversold on the RSI, but then it kind of cools off and it's it doesn't really sell off like crazy. Like all this, all this happened in pre-market. So Tesla coming into market close is oversold, sells off in after hours in pre-market, and then before market even opens, it just takes off. So it starts the day off oversold, opens up oversold from it being oversold it runs all the way up another 10 11 dollars and then it continues to be oversold and kind of just trade sideways throughout the day all right looking up on the one hour it's still considered oversold all day on the one hour is oversold if we look on the four hour it's oversold on the daily chart it's oversold on the weekly chart though is it's not oversold yet so if anything you may see some sideways trading one last thing I want to bring your attention to is just the strength and how bullish this candle is right here. There is no wick on the top. There is a wick on the bottom. The, the bulls absolutely destroyed the bears. There is not a bear inside up here. Whenever there is no wick to the top side of the candle, that, that should just show you there is no selling pressure to be found. Tesla still has some room to run for it to find a level where there are sellers. I, I want you to keep in mind, whenever you think Tesla is oversold, ask yourself, what does it look like on a higher time frame? 
each time frame is like a different piece of the puzzle and the more pieces of the puzzle you have the more complete the picture is going to come out if you enjoyed the video learn anything be sure to smash that like button if for some reason you're new here and haven't already be sure to subscribe and last but certainly not least thank you so much for watching matthew manuel signing off and i want to change your life